Hello and welcome to Crafters TV. Welcome to our final show of Saturday. It's Saturday night and as was once said, your Saturday night starts right here because we have got a fabulous jam-packed masterclass that we will be bringing you for our last show of the day. We've got lots of amazing deals all themed around our bank holiday special offerings and of course we will have lots of amazing inspiration sprinkled throughout the show as well so i know it's going to be an absolute cracker of the show we have had two great shows already we've had that play across right this morning we have had the most incredible ma um it's not say masterclass that's this show we have the most incredible craft along this afternoon and i know that masterclass will be no different and I know that we've got some amazing demos coming up because, of course, we do have on the other side of your studio. She's been here all day. She's here for the final show of the day, of course. And I know she's got the most incredible demos lined up. It is the one, the only. It's our lovely Michelle. Good evening. Are you well? I am very well, thank you very much. Fabulous. Looking had forward to this? Yeah, had a lovely rest. Yeah. Um, I'm ready and raring to go. <laughs> we certainly are. It's going to be an absolutely action-packed two hours, that is for sure, because we have got some of the most amazing deals that we want to share with you, as well as all of that inspiration too. Now, before we kickstart the show with these amazing deals, I want to share with you a little, uh, a little tip if you are shopping over on the website. Make sure if you are going for any individual items, as long as they're not any of your August launches or your machines, that you're popping into that promo code box, the code bank hold 20 now it is a single use code so unfortunately if you've already used that code over the weekend you can't use it once again but if you've not taken advantage already make sure you are using that code because that's going to give you 20 percent off your order that's running all the way through the weekend until midnight on monday night just celebrating our bank holiday here in the uk giving you guys a little bit of a treat uh, at home so it is bank holiday. I know a lot of you uh, guys in the UK will be having perhaps some time off work, maybe some extra time to craft, which of course is always a fabulous thing. If you are crafting at home, we would love to know what you've been working on. So please do send in those pictures to studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Yes, I'm incredibly nosy, but I always find it so inspiring to see all of your mates as well. So please do send in what you've been working on. Maybe you've had a crafty day. Maybe the weather's been absolutely rubbish where you are. And maybe you've thought, you know what, I'm going to stay inside and have a lovely crafty day. And you've got lots of amazing makes that you want to share with both me and Michelle here in, in the studio, but all of the lovely viewers at home as well. Now, talking to myself and Michelle, of course, it's not just me and Michelle in the building. We do have our lovely Nicholas still in our ear. We have George as well, who's unfortunately, I'll say it again, he's leaving us next week. Not happy Rude. about it, but he is doing a sterling <laughs> work all day today, getting all those camera angles, making sure you can see exactly what Michelle is doing. And of course, we do still have the wonderful Tracy, who is making sure everything's running ever so smoothly, getting all the product that we need and those cups of teas as well, which is absolutely vital to keep us hydrated throughout the show. Now, this is a masterclass even, and it's all about our bank holiday deals. And my goodness me, we have got some amazing bank holiday deals that we'll be sharing with you throughout the course of the show. I was actually lucky enough to launch this bank holiday event yesterday morning on Wake Up Call, and I was absolutely gobsmacked by the value for money you are getting with this incredible mystery bag that I'm about to show you. This is outstanding value for money. You are getting absolutely everything within this mystery bag that I'm about to show you. You will not receive anything different. It's exactly what I'm about to show you. You will receive duplicates though if you multiple order on these, but think about these as gift for all of your crafty friends. Perhaps you go to a craft group and you actually want to split this up between all of the members of that group. This would be absolutely ideal. And given the value for money of this bag, even if you've already got a couple of items that's included, do think about actually gifting those because the value is absolutely outstanding. So I'm going to dive straight in. I'm going to go straight in with our fabulous topper pad. Now I was saying this yesterday, I use this time and time again and I know actually Michelle's going to be using this in her first demonstration. It's just a very, very useful pad to have in your crafty stash, especially if you need a quick make. This is one of our die cut 3D topper pads being our everyday celebrations, this one. You're getting 15 sheets in total. It is 160 GSM. And the beauty of this is, yes, it's been designed with that ability to decoupage in mind. 
The really clever thing about this is that every single layer can actually be used separately. I know very often with our decoupage, it's a case of you have to decoupage that design up in one way only. Otherwise, quite frankly, the separate layers, you get like a, a teddy bear with one arm or a dog with his back leg missing. Absolutely not with this one. Every single layer can be used as a standalone layer. But of course, if you're laying together all of those uh, different layers that we've got, you get the most gorgeous dimensional design. I love the fact that we've got such a range and uh, mix of different styles of imagery within this one pad. You've got everything from afternoon tea to the cutest little teddy bears, even things that are going to be ideal for your masculine mates. I mean, how gorgeous is that birdie? That's just going to be perfect as an embellishment or finishing touch to any of your mates. But incredible value for money. If you think the amount you get in here, if you are splitting that up into all individual pieces, then it's going to go an awfully long way, which is absolutely incredible. Next up, we also have dies included, and what an absolute stunner this collection is. Part of our edibles range, which means that one side will cut out of your car stock, that other side will stay within your car stock, allowing you to actually create lots of different concepts beautiful intricate lacy detail within that edible die set just absolutely gorgeous more dies included but now we take a look at some of our sentiments how absolutely brilliant is that using all of your different layers to start to layer up that beautiful just for you design bringing you different colors of cardstock bringing you different textures maybe and finishes of cardstock and you can really mix and match that design Next up, yet another sentiment, but a really bold modern font on this one. This is going to be absolutely brilliant for those masculine makes, perhaps for your kids' cars or your teenage cars as well. Very bold font on here, but I'm thinking as well, you could be paper piecing the letters back in using different colours for that rainbow look and feel, and that would look absolutely amazing. Now, next up, how cool is this? To get this included, one of our creator card dies, and this is all about giving you options when it comes to this die set. You've got that beautiful outer frame with all that detail built in, and then you've also got three separate sentiments. Of course, those are all standalone sentiments, but the idea is that you can choose to pop those into the center of your frame for lots of different effects. It's almost like getting several different die sets just in the one die set, which is absolutely incredible. Next up, perhaps you're into your concept cards. Well, we have got the most incredible set of stamps and dies included as part of our Once Upon a Time. This is all about creating those zigzag fold cards. So you've got the three separate scenes, which you can layer together on your zigzag fold cards to get that really nice dimensional finished effect on those. But of course, I know how creative you guys are at home, you'll find other ways to use these apart from that intended concept. Maybe you're going to be layering these together, adding a frame around the edge or perhaps even in a diorama card. And I love the fact that you also get all of those sentiment stamps included, which match perfectly with that imagery within the dies. Next up, we're bringing to you some dies and stencils. These are all about those large numbers. So great for really making a statement on your cards and other projects like your scrapbook pages. This is, of course, the number nine. We'll turn it the other way and it becomes a number six, giving you a two for one. That main number is in die form and then your larger uh, sort of mats and layers are all in your stencil form. So you've got lots of options with that amazing stencil and die set. Now, this is an absolute beauty. Yeah, I'll say this one's been placed in here, especially for me. We'll go with that anyway. This is part of the Nature's Garden Lily collection and this is your Calla Lily stem. You've got both the stamps and the dies included, which enable you to actually create the most gorgeous and delicate 3D flowers. Don't they look absolutely incredible? The die will do all the hard work to cut that shape out, then use in conjunction with the stamps, and that will allow you to get all of that extra detail onto all of your leaves and petals as well. From our Nature's Garden Wildflower Collection, a very, very useful set of stamps that we've got here. This is all about your sentiments. You've got things that are going to work so perfectly with other floral items that you've got in your crafty stash. You've got things like if friends with flowers, I'd pick you. Let your dreams blossom and stay wild. Just a beautiful and very useful set of stamps that we've got within that collection. Next up, even more dies. And when it comes to your sentiments, this is one that unfortunately we do have to use uh, every now and again. So it's really important that we do have these sorts of sentiments in our crafty stash for when we do need them. This being our thinking of you where you've got the word die and that outer matte die as well, which gives you lots of versatility, whether you want to use it with the matte die or not. You've got options when it comes to that lovely die set. 
Next up, a little bit of quirky humour with this one. This is our I Hate Presents Said No One Ever. It's been designed to work with that tag punch, but of course you can use it standalone without the use of that uh, punch. You can be just using that on other die cut shapes or it could just be on uh, rectangles or squares that you cut down using your trimmer or guillotine. Now we're gonna go for all things shiny and lovely and sparkly when it comes to our gilding flakes. Aren't these just absolutely gorgeous? This is our carnival set of gilding flakes. Three different colorways in this amazing set. You've got your midnight mauve, you've got your deep iris and your lapis blue as well. I mean, how absolutely gorgeous of those. Just absolutely brilliant. Love all of those colorways and something a little bit different from your gilding flakes. Now to work hand in hand with those gilding flakes, we are bringing you a set of three different glue pens, three different widths in here. You've got your ball point, super, super fine nib on there. So great for all of those intricate details. You have that bullet nib, which is ideal for slightly larger applications. And then that chisel nib, which I find absolutely ideal for coloring the edges of your cardstock. You can be adding your glitter to that glue once you've laid it down or you could even be using your gilding flakes as well just to show how those two items are going to work absolutely perfectly together and then finally last but by no means least i cannot believe the amount you're getting in this bag and don't forget it's literally an absolute steal this one you're saving over 110 pounds or over 135 dollars which takes your platinum club price down all the way down to £24 or $32 for absolutely everything that I've shown you. Amazing. This final item, even more gilding flakes, this time from the Sara Signature Roaring Twenties collection. Not only do you get the gilding flakes, you also get the glue, which you can be using alongside your other gilding flakes too. And you get the tools, the lovely little sponges. Again, use them alongside those other gilding flakes. Those allow you to get that lovely burnished effect when you are laying your gilding flakes down cannot believe the amount you're getting in this mystery bag we say it's a mystery bag but you will be getting absolutely everything i've just shown you how absolutely incredible is that for a platinum cool price day of 24 pounds or 32 dollars all of that crafty goodness is coming your way if you go for your amazing bank holiday mystery bag special now, as if that one mystery bag wasn't enough in itself, I know Michelle has got her very own mystery bag that she's super excited to share with you. I know what's in this one, and it is an, another absolute cracker. I know we say that if you order multiples of the same one, you will get duplicates, but the two mystery bags are both standalone, completely different items in both of those mystery bags. So if I was sat at home, I know what I'd be doing. I certainly would be going for both because you are just gonna get an awful lot. So Michelle, I'm excited. What's in your mystery bag? My mystery bag is huge. Oh. I've had to lean it against my uh, my machine because it's huge. I have got a fabulous mystery bag for you. In Ooh. fact, it's that mysterious. I'm not going to show you anything that's yeah. in it. No, <laughs> I'm not having right. that. No. <laughs> show what? Okay. Show what? Show what? I've, I've just been having a look through it, and I was I've sort of while you were talking, I was looking through, and I was like, <gasps> I was very very impressed. So. Firstly, we have one of my favourite items, so I love these. So these insert pads, so if I just lift this up, you can see you've got numerous colours in here. You've got that lovely pink, you've got the lovely white, you've got a peach, you've got sort of that lemony colour um, all in your papers, and then you've got them in your vellums as well with that foiling on. And the foiling is also in different colours, so you've got silver, you've got rose gold, you've got gold in there. Um, all the designs are different as well. Lots of different designs in there. And again, those four colours through your vellum. So an absolutely amazing pad. So this is for your five by seven cards. But remember, you don't just have to use them as inserts. You can be using them um, as toppers as well. If you're using... Uh, if you like to create your different um, shaped card bases, you can still... If you've got nesting dies, you can be using those on these as well. So you have got that... You've got another one of my favourites. Yes, I'm going to say it with everything I show Ooh. you. So this beautiful, I can't help it, especially a paper pad, they're all my favourites. Mm -hmm. But this 12 by 12, it's a 250 GSM, and this is the rose gold one. So you have got, let me turn it on the side, you've got that gorgeous glitter card. And again, so it's a 12 by 12. But not only have you got that gorgeous glitter card, you have got that beautiful, and it's double-sided as well, pearlescent card. Um, huge pad, lovely weight, so you can be using this as construction for your card bases, your box bases, things like that. So you're getting 24 uh, pieces all in all with that one. Oh, 
Another one of our favourites, Lily. Oh, Michelle, I was Love using this. it just last night. Love this. I yeah. can't believe this is included. I know, I know, because it's it's a staple um, card pad, I think. Mm -hmm. So again, 12 by 12, it's all a 250 GSM. Uh, and what you have in here, you've got that lovely um, linen card oh. stock in the pink, but you've also got that lovely pearlescent card stock in the pink as well. And then you've got it again, linen and pearlescent in that lovely um, sort of purpley lilac -y colour. You've got that beautiful blue. Look at this green, sorry, let me, there you go. It's there. It's a lovely, more of a mint green, I think, that mm. one. And then you've got the lemon. Again, they're all in the pearlescent, all in the textured. You can see on the front that you've got all those different colours in there. Um, again, perfect weight for card bases, boxes, anything like that. I love this. I told oh. you I'd say it, everything I brought mm -hmm. out for you. So this is your Say It With Flowers vellum. Let me, can I pop this one open? Because oh. we have to have a look. We have to have a look. Um, our vellum, I think, is some of the best. I think it is the best, actually, you can get. Because the weight of our vellum, um, it's not a flimsy... Um, a flimsy vellum that you really can't do much with. You can mm. see glues through and things like that, but th with the pattern on this vellum, not just the pattern, um, but just the weight of it as well. Let me let me see if I can do my little um, my little Keith thing in my bob to oh. my little Keith shuffle. Keith shuffle. There you go. So you've got some beautiful, um, and they're all different, beautiful vellums in here. We've got this. This is one of my favourites. I love that oh, green. Yeah. I love that green. But you can see it's a lovely, it's a lovely nice weight. So just moving it from the rest. Actually, look how thick it is. You can't really see much through mm. it. So a lovely weight. Lots of oh, look, lots oh. of beautiful colours and patterns in this that say it with flowers is just absolutely gorgeous. And the vellum works perfectly with the pads, obviously. Um, because it's all in the collection, so you know mm. that it's gonna work beautifully. So with this vellum pad, let me just double check you are, you're getting 24 pieces in here. Wow. Um, and they're 150 GSM, so like I said, for a vellum, that's a lovely weight. Mm. So let's pop that in here. And then, <sighs> pastels. <gasps> another essential. I know, another wow. uh, essential. Um, um, pack of card that you're always, always going to have in your stash. So this is Accenture Pearl. This is a pastel. So you've got the lemon, the blue, the pink, um, and sort of the green uh, running through here. Um, 310 GSM it is. So I'm, I don't want to, I, don't, I want to open this one, but shall I open it? <laughs> you need to see what you're getting. Yeah. And, and Nicola said I can, so. Oh, well, that's it then. <laughs> <laughs> Someone left Nicola in charge. Oh, blimey, I don't know who done that, but, uh, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> Let's see what we're getting. But oh, look wow. at this. Look so at let that. me turn it around and stand it up. You've got that beautiful pink. You have got that gorgeous blue in there. You've got that lovely minty green. You've got that beautiful purple. And then you've got that gorgeous lemon there. And it, again, it's a Centura Pearl, so you know that it's good. Look at that, mm. the sheen on that. So you know it's really good quality uh, card that you're going to be getting. And I don't think we're done there. We've got something oh. else in here. Oh, wow. And a paper pad. And a pear tree, do the pear tree. And a paper pad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a winter's tail. Another beautiful one. Let me turn it on its side so you can see. So look at the paper pads, all obviously double-sided because there are pads. Mm -hmm. You've got that lovely A and B side on there. Um, but with these, unlike the records back in the day when the mm -hmm. B side was the song you didn't want to listen to, the B side on these paper pads you will want to use as much because they are just as beautiful. Look at that. Oh, stunning. How gorgeous is it? Some of these you are going to pop into a frame and you're just going to put them up as decoration for Christmas, mm. things like that. You don't necessarily need to do much more to these. But again, so an absolutely beautiful paper pad. So, paper pad, all that Centura Pearl, you've got 40 sheets there. You've got your pack of vellum. You've got this beautiful pearlescent and textured cardstock. You have got 
the glitter and the pearlescent cardstock. And you have also got all those inserts. So for, if you platinum, £40 or $48, that is a steal. Oh, that is a steal of a deal. Certainly is. <laughs> wow, there's two absolutely amazing mystery bag set. Which one are you going to go for? Or are you going to be shopping like I certainly would be and be going for both? You're going to get an awful lot if you are going for both. Now, I've got another amazing deal that I want to share with you. But first up, we've got so many of you joining us over on the socials. So I'm going to say a few hellos. We do have Susie, our lovely Susie's on the socials for this last show of the day. So good evening, Susie. And good evening to Ben. He's saying hello. Good evening, Ben. Sarah's in saying, uh, hi, Lily, Michelle and Crafters TV team. We've got Carletta Morrison, Alicia Gordon's back. Oh, Jenny, our lovely Jenny from the design team is in. She said hello from Ohio. Can't stay the whole time as it's our grandson's 11th birthday, so we'll be partying. Well, Jenny, I hope you have the most fabulous time celebrating. Uh, Tim C is saying hello. Hi, how is everyone doing from a beautiful Nottinghamshire? Well, I'm very well. Michelle, are we well? I think Michelle's well. She's very well. So I'm surrounded by paper and yeah. card and crafty stuff and fabulous. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm, I've just seen some glitter fall off of my fringe, so I'm even better. Yeah. I'm dripping in glitter. She's literally <laughs> sparkling. So, yeah, she's brilliant, as we all are here at Crafters TV. Oh, our lovely Lynn's back saying hi again, Lily and Michelle. Hello, Lynn. It's lovely to have you back joining us. Michelle is back. Uh, Vanessa's in. Polly's saying hello. Mary Beth Doyle is saying hello. Susie cannot believe the value of the mystery bag. I know Susie, the first time I saw it, I was like, do we get everything in? It was like, yeah. I was like, blimey, okay. I won't question it again. I've asked once if that's the way it is. Then that's what we're having, that is for sure. Oh, Linny's saying that, that glitter card that Michelle's just showing you, that's what she used for her gingerbread card uh, and box oh, earlier perfect. today. Brilliant. Kirsty D's in. Um, Crafty Stacey Lou's got a question saying, I have the cutting knife, but it has the really small blade. Can I just buy the bigger blades or is it a different knife? Well, we do our cutting knives and we're going to show you on in just a moment, but they do have our replacement blades, but they are all the same size. No, I know what she means, Lily. Oh, I don't we know have, what she means, so um, go on. We do, we have a swivel nib ah. craft knife. So it looks exactly the same. Um, this is the normal one. And we do have another one, and it has got the tiniest, tiniest little blade. Um, I'm not sure, because obviously you can get replacement blades for them both. I'm not mm. sure if the handle's the same. I'm not sure if the bit where you put the blade into the top is going to be the same. Because if you see with this one, so you can unscrew it, and you've got that cross there. Um, so I'm not sure if it's the same on the smaller swivel one or not. Um, mm. But yeah, you can get the replacement blades for both. This is your normal one. If, the one, if you look at the one that you've got and it's exactly the same handle as this, then just buy the normal replacement blades at the larger ones rather than the swivel one and it should mm -hmm. fit. Okay, great tip. Oh, Kirsty D is saying as well, I'm debating whether or not to make a card to be entered into the card making section for Thornaby show next Sunday. I'm wondering what sort of card I should do. I'm thinking Halloween to be different. Kirsty D, whatever you do, please do enter a card in because that is super super exciting and i like the idea of halloween i think halloween is a good shout i don't think there'll be a lot of halloween cards so it will stand out but if you do please do let us know how you get on because i'm sure you'll be in with a great shout if you do go for that but that is very very exciting uh, and alicia gordon i agree with you on this one michelle your wedding rings are beautiful they are michelle always has gorgeous uh, rings and jewelry on Thank uh, you. so agreeing agreeing with you there that is for sure now, I have another amazing deal that I, wa I want to share with you all. This is all about your storage, but it's not just about your storage. It's about bringing your extra goodies alongside that fabulous storage. And this is coming to us courtesy of Totally Tiffany. As we know, our absolute queen of organisation and storage. And this is an amazing deal that we're getting with this collection. So for just £36 or $44. Not only do we get our beautiful craft and carry workstation, you actually get everything that's included inside that you can see here. But first up, our workstation. This is our black craft and carry workstation and the amount you can fit in here, honestly, is absolutely amazing. You've got lots of different sizes of pockets, so it's great for storing lots of different sorts of items. So you can see here, of course, we've got the items that you are getting part of the bundle. But think about your smaller items you'll be popping in the front. Maybe it's some of your uh, little stationary items like your erasers or your pencil sharpeners. 
this. Perhaps in the larger compartments, you're going to be having your adhesives, maybe your rulers into there. And then you've got this really nice large compartment at the back, ideal for your 12 by 12 paper pads, maybe A4 card. At the back, you have yet another little compartment there. Maybe it's going to be smaller paper pads going into there. Lots of different items you can be storing in here, but not just about your crafts. I'm thinking this would be amazing for all of your stationery. Maybe you've got uh, invoices and letters that you need to store, then this would be ideal for use around the home or in the home office as well. But it's not just about that fabulous craft and carry workstation. You are actually getting absolutely everything that you see here included. So first up, we see it used literally on every single uh, show. It's our low tack tape. You actually get three rolls included in this pack, 75 meters on each. Honestly, this goes an awful long way. Of course, it's reusable, so you don't just think you're using it one time and you discard it. You will be using this and using this time and time again, so this will be lasting you an awful long time. It's great for taping your dice down. That's what we predominantly use it for here on Crafters TV, but if you're using it alongside your stencils as well, that works an absolute treat, but one you've got to have in your crafty stash, especially if you're a die cutter. Next up, we've just been talking about our fabulous craft knives, and we're including the swivel blade as part of this uh, amazing bundle. You get uh, your actual housing, the blade and the handle itself, and you're getting five replacement blades. So plenty to keep you going with that fabulous craft knife. And then finally, and this is worth $34.99, on its own, we're bringing to you this amazing everyday coloured metallic card pad. This is just exquisite. Look at the shine you've got in here. So it's all of your mirror card, but it's printed and it's coloured as well. How amazing this is going to be. Can you imagine making your boxes out of this? Even your card bases, for your mats and layers, for your die cutting. Just amazing. That one you could be using for your Christmas cards as well, that would work perfectly. Think about snipping into these, a little bit of fussy cutting, take those butterflies out of the pad and be using them as embellishments. But what an amazing pad. And I think I've skipped one, so let's go back. There we go, love that one. Great for your wedding advice. What an amazing pad coming as part of this collection. Absolutely beautiful, 250 GSM, 12 by 12 in size, and you're getting 32 beautiful sheets included as part of that pad. So absolutely everything, the station itself and all those items included for an amazing price today if you're in that Platinum Club of £36 or $44. Now, we have asked for some pictures and you guys have answered and it's so, so lovely to have all of you uh, sharing your inspiration with us. Now, it's great to have you guys at home do that, but we've got a very, very creative producer in the gallery today, our Nicola is, she's a crafter and she's also a painter. She's been dabbling a little bit with paints lately. Look at that, what our Nicola's done. That is absolutely amazing. Nicola has painted that uh, very self and that is incredible. So if you're That's amazing. to do a little bit of painting, look at that. Loving that Nicola, that's absolutely brilliant. Another one coming up from our amazing uh, Nicola. She's been loving actually <laughs> um, doing a little bit of painting a pottery lately. And she's done an amazing plate that we're going to have a look. Citrus got real. Love that. That is super, Citrus super got cool. Real. That's amazing. Love Loving that. that. Wow, says, oh, another one coming up from Nicola. Now she's been creating with her Violet Studios goodies. Look at those. That is part of the little circus collection. How cute are those little hats? Absolutely love that. Nicola, not just a very talented producer, but a very talented crafter and artist as well. But what have you guys at home been doing? Well, wow, Sue has been doing her craft along. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> I mean, we talked about going to town and Sue certainly yes. has. That's amazing. Sue, thank you so much for sharing. Very talented crafter for sure. And I have to say, I love the, the larger gingerbread man in the doorway, just sort of like uh, dancing about. How cute <laughs> is that? that? <laughs> and she's got the inner box as well, so she can be popping, I think, little sweeties and chocolates perhaps into there. Anything for gifts would be absolutely perfect. But Sue, thank you so much for sharing that amazing mate. Guys at home, if you've got some of your creations, maybe you've been crafting uh, today, please, uh, today even, please do share your mates with us. Email them into studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk and we'll pop them on the screen and we'll be all admiring your beautiful creations. Now, talking of beautiful creations, we will be having a demo from Michelle in just a moment. But first up, I want to share with you the amazing designs that you're getting as part of this swing card die collection. And this is actually what Michelle's going to be working with in that next demonstration. So this is all about creating your concept kinetic cards. And for a platinum price today of just £20 or $23.20, you'll be getting a four pack of these dies, so four different designs, but 16 
dies in total. So your swing card dies are all about creating that concept card, that swing card. So it's a card with real movement. So when you actually uh, pop this out, you've got that lovely swing movement onto there, just like so. In the past, I have to say I've created these by hand and they are a little bit of a bind to do. It's one of those you make one and you don't make another one because it's all measuring, it's scoring, it's getting out your craft knife. If you look onto that section there, can you imagine having to measure, do the partial cuts, especially on a circle, it is an absolute nightmare. But the beauty of these dies is it's literally one pass through the machine, not only does the die cut where it needs to and only where it needs to, it also pops the score lines in where you need them as well. So one run through that die cutting machine will give you that concept base, but we also include those nesting dies as well. So those mats and layers for that inner circle are taken care of. Love the fact that with these as well, you get the instructions included in the packaging. So it's so super simple to actually create that swing card. So that's your gorgeous circular design. We do have a real range of different shapes covered as part of this collection. You are getting all four that I'm showing you now. Next up, it's all about the love. It's that beautiful love heart that we've got. Same idea, you've got that die which will cut that actual swing card shape itself to give you that mechanism. And then you also have all of those mats and layer dies. Of course, they nestle perfectly into the center of that heart on that mechanism, but you can be using those standalone as nesting dies if you so choose. Next up, a beautiful design that's going to work perfectly if you've got anything sort of bumblebee themed. Maybe you have that amazing, beautiful collection that we brought you a few years ago. That's going to work a treat alongside this one. But once again, you get all of those uh, dies that allow you to create that concept, that swing card concept. Ours is actually being stuck down so it doesn't swing. Uh, but then you do get your mats and layers included as well. And then finally, something a little bit different. I mean, think about cutting this with a craft knife, quite frankly. I won't bother with all of those curves all of that detail it would be very difficult and even if you managed it once second time round I don't think you get that perfect result that uh, next time round but with the die very very easy cuts all the lines and also scores the lines where you need them and we've also included those three smaller butterflies which are absolutely perfect for all of those embellishments for your finishing touches. All four die sets, that's 16 dies in total for a platinum club price today of £20 or $23.20. I've just told you they're easy to work with, but Michelle is gonna show us right now quite how quick and easy and simple it is to create that amazing swing card concept. I am. I absolutely am. I wasn't just daydreaming. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound like you. Absolutely not. Sounds like more like I do, <laughs> or both of us. I've got to admit though, Lily, when I when I stand and I listen to you talking, you've got such a lovely voice that I get Aww. lost with what you're saying. I send people to sleep. It has been said many times on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, right, dear. so I've popped mine out. What I love about these dies is there's a few instructions on the back for you. Mm. Just in case, because sometimes I've done it myself. Um, I've got a die home and I've sort of popped it off the card and I've thought what on earth does that cut out? Or, yep. you know, that just doesn't look like what it's supposed to do. Mm. So what I love is that there's just a few, um, few little simple instructions on there. The simplest that it tells you to do is, mm -hmm. it tells you to cut your piece of card 5.5 by six inches. So that okay. would be a card base. Uh, once you've done it once like that, then you can go on to do different kinds of card bases because really the rule of thumb that you need to follow is it tells you that this here needs to be two inches away from here mm -hmm. so I'm going to use my mat to measure two inches mm -hmm. so if I place that there just so really what it's roughly doing is you've got like a quarter of an inch there um, and just making sure that that's straight. Uh, it's as simple as that. I'm going to pop some tape at the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. I've, um, I've, uh, so what I've done with my tape to make it less sticky is I've just tapped it on my tap a few times. Mm -hmm. It picks up some of the fibers. It makes it less sticky. Um, and then it means when you run it through your machine, if you are creating a card where you don't have the bit of waste to tape this onto. Mm -hmm. It just obviously it makes it that little bit less sticky and less likely to uh, rip your card as, uh, as you're trying to pull it off. Because we know it is low tack tape, but we know mm -hmm. once it's gone through our machine, it's high tack tape. Um, but again, uh, a few little, uh, little tricks to enable you to still be able to use it brilliantly. 
So let's just pop those to the side. I'm going to bring in my poker tool. I'm just going to very gently lift that up. And because I've uh, done that little trick where I've just tapped it onto my top, it's just taken enough sticky away that means when I peel that off, it's peeled off absolutely beautifully. Mm -hmm. So you can see you've got those scar lines there. So what you can do is you can just fold those. You don't need to go back in um, onto your scarboard and re-burnish those if you don't want to. So we're just going to get, look how easy that just folds on that lovely scar line. Oh yeah. Let me just bring that one that way. So straight away, you can see by folding one one way and one the other, you've got that flip. Oh, lovely, yeah. That's it. So easy, wasn't it? Go <laughs> That's great. literally it. Wow. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a second one. Okay. Um, so, I, I mean, you know, I can see where that one is. So now I know that I can roughly, um, I can roughly judge where I'm going to pop this one. And again, I'm going to be using my glass mat just to line this up straight. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to roughly pop that one about um, an inch and a half from that side. I just need to make sure that that's not going to interfere at that side and I've got enough room at that side as well. Okay. So just lining it up, I'm going to press that down. Press that down and we're going to run it back through. Mm -hmm. So pop in my plates on top, run back that back through. So, and, and again, I think actually the size of, um, depending on what size card you are creating, these are gonna run, run through your junior. Mm. So if you've only got your junior or your midi, because your midi is gonna be the same sort of um, plate size, it's gonna run through those as well. So let's pop that off. And again, gently ease that tape up. Very carefully. Mm -hmm. And then... While you just easing your tape off, a few more hellos to say to our lovely viewers. Maureen is saying good evening. Her cosy country cottage die set has arrived and she's using it to make a new home card for a friend whilst watching the show. That sounds absolutely perfect. Vanessa is saying she loves the Totally Tiffany workstation that I've just shown you. Uh, she uses it not only for craft items but for beauty items. Great tip there, Vanessa. We've got Gail joining us from Maryland. Susan Griffiths is saying hello as well. She loved uh, that watching that amazing craft along this afternoon. Uh, Lynn Morton's also from Newcastle oh dear from a chilly Newcastle probably means it's chilly here as well oh dear <laughs> not what we want and also Rachel Brown is saying good evening to everyone well good morning uh, good evening even to you Rachel as well <laughs> so depending on how you fold these you can have them both sort of going the same way mm -hmm. but if I fold this side the other way you can sort of have them um, yeah. sort of going the opposite way as well like it's that. entirely up to you if you sort of flip it round you get a totally different effect mm. there's no right or wrong ways to which what you know what says which which way is the front mm -hmm. uh, it's entirely up to you but I'm going to fold that back just pop that through and that one back on itself and then I've got them actually facing the same way as each other Right. almost like um, cascading. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so with the, the, the heart dies in there, we're just going to mat and lay it up. So I've got some lovely pattern paper, just some white cat. I love that one. Just that heart mm. on its own, whether you use it with this or just on its own, I think it's just a beautiful um, die. I mean, great for your sentiments, isn't it, on any project? Yes, yeah, definitely. So let's pop a little bit of tacky glue on this one. Mm -hmm. So we're going on to that pearlescent cardstock. And you can see that, again, it's going to line up absolutely beautifully. It certainly does. So let me wiggle that into place. There we go. And then this one's on a foam pad or two because I love a foam pad. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Pop that one on there. So even on the foam pads, they're still going to flip around, even with that sort of added weight on there. Love that. We'll do the same on the other side. So again, just using those hearts that come with it. So just a beautiful nested die mm -hmm. set. Sorry, when I'm sort of crafting, mm -hmm. 
my talking, my words come out slower and slower. <laughs> <laughs> so again, just pop that up, making sure that I've not got it um, too far over and it's gonna catch. That is just a little bit too high. So let me just bring that, just wiggle it down just a little, because I've used that wet glue, mm. it will do it. The beauty of the tacky glue, isn't it? It's really forgiving, especially if you're new crafter, it's absolutely ideal. That's it. So this particular one, I have cut it like the tiniest um, little bit too big. So if I turn it over, you can see actually. Can you see how my pattern paper's coming over? Oh yeah. So it's just catching a little bit on the top, so, but that absolutely doesn't matter because what I can do is I'll trim it, I can trim it down. Um, I'll not do it now, I'll carry on creating this one for you, but I wanted to show you that um, just so you can see why it's catching. It's um, foam pads. It's, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the reason it's catching, just because I've not trimmed it. It's just that, that tiniest little bit of not mm -hmm. trimming something is just stopping it from going through. So that's why it's always better just to take that little extra time. Um, so all I'm going to do now is it's just about decorating because I've used this beautiful pink card. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I need to have a patterned paper all over the top because I think this is just absolutely beautiful on its own. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring in lots more of those hearts, matting and layering them up on lots of foam pads. We're going to pop this one here. So I'm going to just put a little bit of glue down that side there. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that all of these dies, all these hearts are actually included in die form within this set. So you're not having to look elsewhere uh, in your crafty stash. Maybe you've not got a lot of nesting dies uh, in your collection already. Don't worry, you've got all of those lovely heart dies included as part of this set. And this is just one set of the four that you're getting as part of this swing card die collection. Four sets in total, 16 dies uh, across those four sets for a Platinum Club price today of just £20 or $23.20. Actually, you know, we were just talking about that little swivel um, craft knife. I could use mm. that to trim that down. Oh, yeah. Um, if you are good with a little craft knife. I'm just going to come in with my scissors. I'm just going to trim it down very carefully. Being left-handed, this isn't always the easiest of things to do. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's see if it will go through now. Come on, you know you want to go. <laughs> there very, we go. Very to there you go. <laughs> there we go. So they are going through. So let me bring you this one in that I've already done. So you can see that I've folded those in together. I've mm -hmm. just trimmed my paper down that little bit more so this one's not catching. Th that one we're just catching a little bit. But mm -hmm. besides that, look, my left one where it's trimmed down perfectly, can you see? So even, not even a millimetre of the card mm. has um, just sort of affected that a little bit. But that's no problem, because I'm going to have a little play with it now. Um, I think we might be going to a break anyway. So um, it's one of them things where you can't leave it, you know, you yeah. have to. But let yeah. me stand that one up for you. So that one is looking beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's like a before and after. This Absolutely. one's just got a little bit of an ailment at the minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just it's sorted out and it will look as beautiful as that one. Absolutely gorgeous design there, Michelle. Love that. Showing how easy it is to work with those swing card dies. But did you notice that top of patch you brought in? That was actually part of your bank holiday mystery bag. So you get a little bit of inspiration uh, when it comes to those. And as well, the Just For You sentiment die, part of that mini die collection as well that you'll see over on the shop the day. So just going to show how everything actually works together just absolutely perfectly. What a gorgeous first card. And if you want to re recreate something quite as stunning as that, you will need your swing card die collection. In that collection, you're getting the four different designs. I'll quickly show you the ones that you get. And you are getting that gorgeous butterfly. Each of the dies have that ability, uh, enabling you to actually create that swing card die concept. So you've got that large mechanism die, which allows you to do that. Your embellishment dies as well, aren't they? Just absolutely gorgeous. So that's your butterfly. And then we come on to our hexagon. Maybe we're going to be using that for your masculine mates, your teenage cars as well. That would work a treat. And then the one that Michelle has just used, that lovely heart design. And then finally, you've also got your circular design. With every single one, you're getting the mechanism, you're getting the mass 
and layers as well. So everything has been taken care of across those four die sets. 16 dies in total for a Platinum Club price today of £20 or $23.20. Now, perhaps you saw those amazing mystery bags at the top of the show. Maybe you've got those in your baskets and you're waiting for that opportunity to check out. Well, we're going to give you that chance right here, right now. And we'll be back in just a couple of minutes with lots more deals and, of course, lots more inspiration. So we'll see you in a few. Welcome to Club Inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. If you love Crafter's TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere from here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. Massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye.
Hello and welcome back to Crafters TV. Welcome to our masterclass, our final show of Saturday and what a show it's shaping up to be already. Some absolutely incredible deals that we're bringing to you as part of this show. And of course, with our Michelle here, we've got some amazing demonstrations as well and lots more to come throughout the next hour and 10 minutes. But it's not just inspiration from Michelle. We have got some inspiration coming courtesy of you guys at home. We've been asking for you to send in your pictures of what you've been working on. Oh, and our lovely Susie too, who was on the comments today, has been sending in some of her makes. Susie, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that stepper card. Love the colorways you've used. Love that. That's just absolutely beautiful. She's been a busy gal. It's not just that one that Susie sent us. She sent us even more. Oh, and I can spy one of our little friends in the background. That is our Gemini too. She's been creating a box. Looks gorgeous from that angle, but wait till you see the next one. It's not just any old box. It's an exploding box. Look at that. She's even got a die board in the background. Can you see a magnetic die? Stand? I recognise that. Got from a all certain craft goodies. along. Yes. <laughs> certainly do absolutely gorgeous mates there Susie as ever very talented crafter is our Susie even she more is. coming up from Susie look at that gift bags oh, like and a gorgeous that. card there love that thanks what a great idea for using up from some of your scraps absolutely amazing more coming our way this time using those plaid paper pads and that ribbon bow <gasps> Love that. How super cool is that? I wow. also recognise that from a certain crafter. Yeah, long. <laughs> she seems to be very inspired by amazing crafter. What Susie, I absolutely love top work. Love the papers you've used. It looks incredible. Next up, who's been in touch? Oh, it's our Tim. Tim, that is absolutely gorgeous. That looks like oh, I the love uh, that. Um, Nature's Garden Hummingbird, doesn't it? Love that. Just absolutely stunning. Beautiful mates there. Next up, oh, how cute is that? Happy oh. anniversary. Beauty and the Beast there, that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Pretty, isn't it? It makes me want mm. to sing and dance. Mm, maybe I not. I won't. <laughs> maybe not. Not going to end well, is it? If us two start singing and dancing this time of an evening. Oh, dear. <laughs> anyway, ne next two. On to the next one. We have got another gorgeous one coming up from Tim. Oh, isn't that pretty? Love that. Using some of our uh, Oh, that's card nice. Dice. Isn't that nice? It's bringing in the keys as well. Quite a simple car, but just absolutely stunning. Lovely colouring on there as well too, Tim. Beautiful. Gosh, you guys are so talented at home. Make sure you do keep your makes coming in. We love to see them. We love seeing all of your inspiration and being inspired by you guys at home as well, which is what it's all about. Talking of being inspired, we've got another amazing demonstration coming up from Michelle in just a moment. But first up, I'm going to be showing you exactly what she's going to be crafting with because we have an amazing deal on these framed stamp and dies. This is a five-piece collection giving you 43 dies, 10 sheets of card included as well as your stamps too. For a platinum club, oh my goodness me, I knew this one's a good deal. But I didn't realise it was quite that good. A Platinum Club price today for everything I'm about to show you is £16 or $19.20. <gasps> 70%, 70% yes, saving on this collection. Wow, if you've not got this in your craft stash already, I think today could definitely be the time for, to be snapping this one up because this is an absolute steal of a deal, that is for sure. So this is all about creating your cards very quickly and easily because you've got that really large frame die that will cut that detail into your card but use it with that outer die and you can cut that detail out as a panel. So you've got options whether you want that cut into the front of the card or that separate panel. But of course, we don't just give you the frame, we give you all the extras as well. So you have that lovely die in the centre, which reads the word love, both that inner detail and your outer map die as well for that matte and layer but we also include those sentiment stamps allowing you to actually build up your own sentiments so it could be love you it could be love is all that matters it could be with love and so on and so forth lots of options using those stamps and dies together but how beautiful is that frame next up we have another of the gorgeous square design and this is all about the friends again you've got that gorgeous inner die which will cut the detail into your cardstock we'll use that outer die and you can cut that detail out as well our die with the sentiment for this one is friends and then once again you have all your sentiment stamps which will mix and match for example friends forever true friends best friends and lots more options besides 
Then we come on to our rectangular dies. So I love the fact that we get two of the square and two of the rectangular. Doesn't matter whether you favour those square or rectangular cards, you've got something included as part of this collection. This one is you celebrate. You've got those lovely flowers around that rectangular frame. I mean, ideal for your paper piece, and isn't it? But think of the different mediums you could be adding behind that frame. Is it going to be acetate? Maybe you're going to be bringing in some of your alcohol-based pens to create a stained glass window effect. Perhaps it's going to be your vellums or your inky backgrounds. Maybe it's going to be a shaker or even a photograph would work ideal for your scrapbooking. And then once again, you have your sentiment die, this time being celebrate, and those sentiment stamps as well, allowing you to build those phrases yourself. And then finally, you've got your birthday. Love this one. Beautiful, flourishing, swirly detail within there. You've got your outer die, your inner die, your sentiment with its corresponding map, and all of your word stamps as well. So it could be birthday girl, it could be birthday boy, it could be it's your birthday, and lots more as well. Now, as if that wasn't enough to get all four sets that I've just shown you, as part of this deal, we are also including this incredible Centura Pearl card. This is your beautiful solar gold. 10 sheets of this, it's your single sided pearlized finish, 310 GSM and it's A4 in size. All the properties that we know and love of Centura Pearl, with it being that heavier weight, you can use it for your construction projects. You can use it for your box making, for your car making, for your die cutting, your embossing, you can even stamp onto this. Mats and layers, it's ideal for as well. So to have that included is an absolute winner winner, that is for sure. 16 pounds for everything I've just shown you. That's four sets of stamps and dies and 10 sheets of card as well. Absolutely amazing price on that one. 70% saving, incredible. Now, perhaps you're looking at those and thinking, they're pretty, but I need a little bit of inspiration as to what I can do with these when I get them home. Michelle is gonna be providing just that right now. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, you are. Correct answer. It's, do you know, it's Saturday. We started off the day with singing. Yep. We've had food. I haven't had a nana nap this afternoon. No. <laughs> um, it's Lily's voice. It's just so soothing. It I'm really is. I'm not sure is. about that, but uh, <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> uh, but I've picked the floral opulence frame. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful one. You've got that lovely matte layer piece, which we're going to use, mm -hmm. and then this decorative. Um, so obviously if you use this piece you can see that there's no cutting element, no cutting blade all the way around the edges. So what it means is if I pick my piece of card and cut into it, that decorative element is just going to stay exactly oh. where it is. Um, bringing in this extra piece and then that's going to cut it out for you. Amazing. So using that gorgeous solar gold that you're going to get with this, I'm just going to... Two line that up beautifully well i hope beautifully looks good to me <laughs> it good looks enough, pretty straight yeah. yeah i'm going to put one more tiny little piece on because um i don't want it to move at all and because i've um sort of taken a lot of the sticky off with those i'm just a little conscious that it may move mm -hmm. so pop that through now um, that solar gold is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Mm. So I thought we're using the solar gold. I'm going to bring in one of my gilding waxes that's going to Ooh. match with it absolutely beautifully because I'm going to use some black card as well. Mm -hmm. I think black and gold Can't goes go together mm -mm. so beautifully. So again, um, I was saying before, that centre piece that you're going to cut out or that it cuts out. Don't necessarily get, need to get rid of it. Don't think of it as waste. Okay. Um, if you're going to be popping this up onto some um, foam pads or anything, you've got a beautiful background straight away there. Or mm. paper piece it back in in a different colour. Um, that's going to look lovely as well. So don't necessarily just get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So let me get rid of those little bits. Bring my die back in. And let me just tap those bits away. I don't want no one saying I don't clean my dies out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't. Oh, I don't at home. And then I get one out and then I realise that I've got to um, get rid of all those bits. That's the thing, isn't it? It always comes to back round to bite you, doesn't it? You think, oh, I'll do it another time. And then you, you get your die out to use it and you think, oh, I've got yes. to clean it out first. Yeah. 
yeah absolutely so i've already got a piece uh, cut out in black and what mm -hmm. i mean about sort of paper piecing that back Ooh, in like turn that. that round so it's the right way how beautiful mm. it looks like batman actually yeah but how like beautiful that. does it look if you paper piece it back in mm. and then if you've just got sort of those flowers there if you paper piece those back in as well it's going to look absolutely gorgeous mm. but yes yeah, so that that paper piece back in looks lovely uh we're not going to do that we're going to bring in my gilding wax and i've got the empire gold mm -hmm. and all i'm going to do is i'm just going to go around the edge just a little bit on those edges you see i've lifted it because i want it to go on the edge rather than sort of coming over mm -hmm. so i'm going to go across the bottom as well i'm going to be very careful we do all of our gilding waxes they are absolutely gorgeous aren't they they really are and and the thing is the tiniest amount that you use on a project so for instance this project I'm using the tiniest amount just along those edges. It's mm. going to last you a very, very long time. Oh, gosh, yeah. So let's just finish that last one at the top. I'm not bothered if, if um, it sort of comes over a bit more in places. I think it sort of adds to the effect. I think mm. it looks lovely. So what I'm going to do, let me just bring in my tissue. I'm just going to buff that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then... I'm going to pop it here. So what that actually does is it means that I don't have to try and do... Um, sometimes when I've got a really fussy dye like that and I want to do a bit of a drop shadow, sometimes it feels like a little too busy for me. OK. So what I will tend to do is I can give that now the tiniest bit of drop shadow that you're going to see in the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't have one round the edges, but because I've had that added that gilding wax, it gives me the effect that I've got the drop shadow round the edges as well as on the mm. inside. So you know, sometimes you know, sometimes when you look at something, you feel a little bit like you're looking, you're seeing double. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes when you've got a fussy one, mm. that's just a personal thing. Um, sometimes it can feel a little bit. Um, too fussy for me yeah so especially when you want to get a lovely drop shadow round there mm -hmm. so by doing that i can have the drop shadow the tiniest little bit on the inside i don't have to worry about the outside because i've just added my gilding wax mm. so just a little bit of a cheats way to be able to get the gold all the way round mm -hmm. as well as um on the inside as well so what yeah. am i looking for i'm looking for oh, look at these did you get these Ooh. Let me see if I can catch the light with that. Oh, yeah, we can see Look it. Look at that. So these are from our uh, Dancing Dragonflies. Ooh. When you ink these over, it is just absolutely gorgeous. You've got that sort of rainbow effect coming through. So we're just going to make a nice, simple card. So I've just got a six by four base. Mm -hmm. We're going to pop this on. And then we will pop our frames on. Uh-huh. So just popping that in the middle. Yeah, inking over these, you've got that lovely resist. It just mm. looks beautiful. It looks beautiful as it is on its own. You don't necessarily need to do that. Um, so I'm going to pop that gold beha behind. Mm -hmm. and I could pop the, the gold on front and have that black. It looks lovely. Mm. So beautiful. Such a simple little um, die set, mm. but really, really effective when you've used it. I mean, it's got so much gorgeous detail in there. I mean, all those swirling uh, flourishes that you've got, you've got the flowers in there as well. It's just a yeah. beautiful, uh, yeah. beautiful die. Definitely. So let me bring in my normal tape just to go around the edges. Make sure it sticks really well. There and there. Pop that on there. So making sure that I go right to the edge of that gold. Mm -hmm. Just, oh, I've got tape everywhere, sticking to everything. Mm -hmm. It's when you know you've had a good day in the craft room. Mm -hmm. You've got a red liner tape backing <laughs> all over. 
Uh, you've got uh, foam pads stuck to the bottom of your slippers. <laughs> you've got low tack tape all over your sleeve. Yep. And you've also got uh, gilding flakes everywhere, even though you've not even used them on that day. <laughs> yep. Sounds like very much like a standard day in the craft room. <laughs> I just walked uh, up the hallway before the show mm. and my, my shoe was sort of clicking and yeah. I was thinking, I don't, I've, got, I've got like pumps on, so yeah. I, and, but I looked down and I had a big gem stuck to the bottom of my shoe. Of course. <laughs> I mean, what else? <laughs> just a, a little bit of decoration, that's all it was. Absolutely. Just a little accessory. <laughs> so we're going to raise this up on some foam mm -hmm. because you've got that lovely border round the edge perfect size for this foam. Mm -hmm. So popping that there. You've got just enough uh, width as well on that outer frame uh, so you can, can get your foam behind there. But of course, if you don't use that outer die and you cut your car stock a little bit larger, you can have that deeper frame uh, around the edge if you want to got options there. I love the fact that we include that outer frame die as a separate die so it gives you the choices as to how you use that frame or not at all. Yes. Right so let's get the backing off of here. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that with these as well you can use them both the uh, portrait or landscape can't yeah. you? Yeah yeah absolutely there's no, nothing on the design that oh dear it's <laughs> off <laughs> taking flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing on the de design that says um, this is the way up or anything, is there? Mm. So, right, there we go. So, let me. I'm sticky. I'm, I can feel I've got glue all over my fingers, so I'm literally sticking, sticking to, to everything. everything. There oh, we dear. go. So, then I'm going to bring in, so I've got the happy, so that's the stamp. So, I've just stamped out the happy. Um, I've matte and layered it with the matching. Um, cardstock, we've got the birthday die cut out. Um, where is my die set? Here it is. So you've got the matte layer piece and you've got the birthday as well, which gives you this. Oh, yeah. And again, so I'll just unhook that. Let's, let's pop the white one down first. So being careful. it is quite delicate mm -hmm. see now I've held that down with three fingers and now all three <laughs> fingers are stuck oh, <laughs> there we go right let's pop that on there mm -hmm. oh great tip from Su Susan Griffiths is saying she used her bank holiday code to top up with Gemini plates tape pens and the gorgeous gold gilding wax wow smart shopping there Susan that yeah. is the way to do it that is for sure <laughs> definitely don't forget that code is BANKHALL20 for your individual items. That will give you 20% off over on the website throughout our bank holiday weekend here in the UK. Uh, that's valid until midnight on Monday night. Uh, as long as it's an individual item, no machines, no gift cards and no August launches. But anything else, you're good to go with that fabulous 20% off code, which we are loving. So let's layer this one over. Mm -hmm. And again, just giving it that drop shadow. We call it a drop shadow, but actually you can have it coming from whatever side you want. Oh, it's one of those debates, isn't it? It's that age-old question, which side do you have your drop shadow on? So yeah. for me, I always have it on the side, same side. It's always, the one below is always slightly down and slightly towards the left. But I know we're all different on the team. We all do it in a slightly different way. Yeah. There's no right or wrong at all. I think it's, I suppose it's whatever looks pleasing to your eye, isn't it? Mm. I always say if it looks right to your eye, then it's right. That's all yeah. that matters. So let's pop that there. Pop the happy above. Mm -hmm. And then tuck that just under there, just that little bit. Oh, I like that. There we go. So that's it. Again, I don't feel it needs any gems or anything. And do you know what? Um, really, that should say happy anniversary because it's my son's second wedding anniversary <gasps> today. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations. I that didn't forget be... at all. Of course you didn't. <laughs> no, of course you didn't. You've just told us now, so you obviously, obviously didn't forget. But what an absolutely beautiful card there from Michelle. Just love those frame stamp and die collection. And you can see you're getting not only that beautiful design that Michelle's just shown us here, you're getting the complete collection of four different frame stamps and dies as part of this deal 
16 pound or 19 dollars 20 you have all of those gorgeous dies and the sentiment stamps as well that outer die you've got that choice that michelle's just shown us you can cut into your cardstock you can cut out you can use the sentiment dies and the sentiment stamps too so that's the first one that michelle's just used we do also have this gorgeous floral design that lovely rectangular design included uh, as part of this collection then we come on to our lovely square designs as well with the friends then we also have that love in the square design included as well and as if it wasn't enough to bring to you all four gorgeous sets of stamps and dies as part of this collection we're also bringing to you 10 sheets of that beautiful centura pearl in your solar gold absolutely gorgeous quality you've just seen how beautifully that die cuts in that demonstration but with it being 310 gsm that allows you to actually do all your construction all of your boxes your card bases your die cutting as well with this fabulous quality car stock all of that for just £16 or $19.20. Absolute steal of a deal when it comes to your frame stamp and die collection. Now, so many of you guys at home have been sharing with us your inspiration. We have been asking for you to actually email in your makes. Uh, we're going to have a little look at a few more. We've got even more coming through. So a big thank you to all of our lovely viewers who have emailed in their makes, shown us what they've been working on over the weekend. So, first up, wow, Candy's been using some of our amazing half creator cards. How incredible does that look? Loving all the metallic finish on that. That looks perfect for Christmas. Love that. Next up, ooh, another of our half creator cards, I think, for this one. Now, I like that, that one. Or is that the, um, I think that might actually be the Sarah Signature Snow Queen. That is beautiful, Candy. Absolutely a Adore that one, just gorgeous. Next up, another one from Candy. Blimey, you've been busy, Candy. Some amazing makes well, here. I like that. Isn't that pretty, that easel card with that lovely Christmas tree? Absolutely loving that one too. Oh, look at this. This is absolutely <laughs> adorable. I love look that. at those two. Super, super cute with you two gorgeous little snowmen on there. Or it could be a snowman and a woman, it could be a little couple, but they are just absolutely gorgeous. And another one, wow. Deb has had a go at Michelle's amazing craft along and blimey me, oh. that is a roaring success. Look at that, Deb, that's amazing. Love the fact I as well you've got that. the uh, smoke coming out the chimney. How cool is that? And then we've got another fabulous one. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Michelle, you've made this as marketing for your real estate business. How cool is that? That is Such lovely. a fab card. Love the brick embossing folder in the background as well. And then our Susie T, she's been at it again. <laughs> Another of her gorgeous cards. But that's using one of the frames that we've just had a little look at. How amazing does that look with a shaker in there and all of your paper piecing as well? Goodness me, some absolutely amazing inspiration coming courtesy of all of our lovely viewers at home. So a big thank you to all of you who have sent in your incredible makes now we have an amazing collection of dies that I want to share with you this is all about your mini dies but as we always say with this incredible range of dies lay these up cut multiples and it's not just about your small cars you can be using these on your larger cars as well as part of this collection you're getting a whopping 69 dies in total across the 12 sets for just 32 pounds or 40 dollars and there's some very very useful designs that you'll be getting included as part of this collection ones that you'll be going to day in day out in your crafting so first up we've got our fabulous alphabet all of your letters a to z as separate dies which allows you to actually cut these as apertures as well as having that uh, die cut itself then of course to go alongside your alphabet you've got to of course have the numbers but it's not just about the numbers it's about all of your ordinals and your punctuation in that one as well which is one that you'll definitely be using time and time again to personalize all of your makes next up all about your sentiments when it comes to your fabulous congratulations die. Love the fact that it's actually congrats rather than congratulations. Slightly more modern look and feel with that one. Really funky uh, and a very usable design. Next up, another sentiment, this time our happy birthday. Really like the fact that we've got a mix of different fonts in there. You could even be paper piecing that happy if you so choose, but a beautiful uh, die with that one. Next up, special friend. Again, love the mix of fonts. You could be cutting off the special and it could just be friend, but however you're choosing to use that, it's definitely one that you'll be using time and time again. Now we saw this in that first demonstration with Michelle. It's our just for you. Really nice quirky design with this one, of course. Multiple cut that, maybe just snip out the four and layer that back over the top to give you a different look and feel, but one you'll definitely be reaching for an awful lot in your crafting. 
then talking of dice it'll be using time and time again your dragonfly great as an embellishment great as that finishing touch but build up multiples of these and it can be the focal point on any of your project and of course it wouldn't be a collection if we're bringing you a dragonfly of course we've got to also bring to you a beautiful butterfly one of my absolute favorites i use this day in day out in my crafting just as that finishing touch maybe to hide a little crafty boo boo as well it is perfect for doing that but a gorgeous design that we've got with our butterfly Next up, it's Debbie Robinson's favourite. It's all about that cheese plant. You've got your gorgeous uh, plants in the pots, the separate leaves as well. Just a super funky design with that one. Then if you're thinking about all of your princessy makes, maybe it's going to be your creations for your little girls in your lives. Maybe it's going to be prom cards or even bridesmaids cards. Your fairy die set is going to be ideal for all of those. You get not only that gorgeous fairy, but the stars as well, which I think you'll be using an awful lot in your crafting. Next up, this is a super funky modern set. Really like this one. This is your emoticons. You've got your love hearts. And I really like the fact that you've got different types of hearts included. You've got the wider one. You've got the slightly more primitive one as well. You've got that gorgeous envelope design and the love, which is absolutely gorgeous. Love that die set. No pun intended. And then finally, another one that I use an awful lot in my crafting is your party die set. Those balloons are very, very useful. Cut them in different colors of cardstock because I love the fact that you get that separately as well you get your gorgeous slice of cake i mean change up the colorways and it could be any flavor of cake that you so choose and then also you've got your uh, present as well which is absolutely amazing all of those dies included 69 dies in total for a platinum club price today of 32 pounds or 40 dollars i know michelle wants to share a few samples with you to show you exactly what you can do with these amazing mini dies they, I, I like to call them mini but mighty because just using one as it is like that on the front of a, um, a little card looks absolutely gorgeous it mm. really does but then you can bring them into your bigger cards so your bigger makes so that one on there almost as a topper those presents mm. in those lovely balloons and I love this one so you've got the happy birthday on the front but then when you open it up um, pow Kapow. Mm. It does feel a little bit like that when you've got a lovely centerpiece like that. But you've got the balloons there and you've got them up there as well. And it's really, you're going to bring it in, it's going to elevate all the other dies that you've got and the embossing folders and the stuff that you've got in your stash. One of my favourite things to do is this look. So using those, um, so cutting them out on a piece of card so you've got that stencil effect. Inking through, you've got all those lovely little... Um, so that, that, that's the one that I was on about earlier. You know, the oh, little fish that could yes. go in the little... Yeah. For the penguin, in the penguin's belly. Oh, that would yeah. have been cute. So that would be perfect. Lots of, of those little shaker elements. So yes, so you, some of these are small enough actually to create shaker mm. elements for your shaker cards. But I love doing that. Um, and what I also love doing, this is another one of my favourites. Can you see how all those hearts have been cut out in the same card, glued on, and you've got that beautiful faux emboss. Mm. A couple of those, those dragonflies are lovely. Yeah. Um, a couple of lovely dragonflies mm. on there, and it really elevates your card. Um, if you've got a small die and you really want to make it the focal point to mat and layer it onto some squares or circles and then pop them onto your card, um, it makes them appear a lot bigger than what they are. But you're making your tags. So we've got that lovely oh, little um, princess there on the tag or the fairy. Um, Debbie's favourite. Look mm -hmm. at that. A proper jungle. Wait, there we go. <laughs> it was stuck, sorry. Proper, is that supposed to do something else? No. I think it was supposed to be, I think it's just been a little bit, um, something's missing off here. Oh. So it should be one of those little window ones. But yeah. How beautiful is that? And then lastly, again, when I was saying about popping them on some matte and layered mm. squares, um, taking those small dies actually and making them look fabulous on, on a larger card. Love that. Some great inspiration there, showing lots of different ways that you can use these amazing mini dies. It goes back to what we were saying earlier. Don't just think of your dies as tools. Think of the different ways you can use them actually to create tools. So creating your masks and your stencils, and that will allow them to go even further 
which is absolutely fabulous. So I've actually got a quick question before we go for a break. I want to fire across to Michelle. This is about this afternoon's uh, craft along, actually. This is coming in from Evelyn. She's saying, I have a question for Michelle, please. I am working on the gingerbread house and I'm wondering what the third house shaped cardboard piece is for so I'm presuming you know you cut three of the houses at the start oh What's yeah the yeah third one for the second oh we didn't do it did we so two um I just mat and layered them for the back because it just added that little bit of extra strength uh, you don't have to do it I just did it for for extra strength that's all it was so two went at the back and one was at the front decorated so that's all it was oh perfect nice and easy lovely if you do have any questions or comments at all make sure you do send those across uh, we've got just over 40 minutes left on the show we're going to give you a chance maybe to check out those baskets maybe to grab a bite to eat or a quick cuppa and um, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes for even more deals and of course lots more inspiration welcome to crafters tv with more than 35 hours of live shows each week it's your home for all things craft we shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be, should be coming in. in. Should be coming in. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what does she do? Looks. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in you know we see the same same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really they go in as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us 
is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family Hello and a very warm welcome back to Crafters TV. We've got just over half an hour left on our final show of the day, the final show of Saturday. And what a day it's been here already on Crafters TV. Lots of amazing inspiration. Perhaps you're here in the UK like we are and are celebrating the bank holiday. Well, of course, we've got goodies and treats for you galore with it being bank holiday. We're having a little bit of a bank holiday celebration. Of course, lots of amazing bundles that we're sharing with you throughout the course of the day and tomorrow and Monday as well. But don't forget as well, over on the website, if you enter that code BANKHOLD20, you will receive 20% off your order. As long as it's individual items, no machines, no gift cards or August launches, all individual items, you're able to get that amazing 20 20% off which is absolutely fantastic and that's on top of your platinum discount if you're a platinum member which is absolutely incredible now next up we have got some beautiful dies to share with you and I know Michelle's got the most gorgeous demo with these that she'll be showing you in just a moment but it's all about our Baroque border dies these are the most exquisite dies I mean the detail within these is just outstanding you're getting six dies in total across the three die sets for an amazing quite frankly platinum low price today of just £12 or $16 that's giving you a saving of over 25% it should be over £20 or over $26 you're getting it today for just £12 or $16 so first up we have our gorgeous talons I have to say I do struggle with these names I'll do my very best but uh, I don't speak French that is for sure so gorgeous die design with this one a little bit different when it comes to these dies they're not like a classic edgeable they have that slight different twist on them so what you're getting is you're getting that main gorgeous detail die that will cut out of your cardstock. And then you're also getting that edger die, which on its own doesn't look like an awful lot. But the idea is you can layer those together to get that beautiful detail on top of that uh, coloured edge. So cut them from two different colours of cardstock and you're going to get that beautiful edge on your uh, die cut border there. Next up, and again, it's the same sort of concept with this one. This being your talons uh, die that we've got here. I've just shown you the same two twice. Oh dear, we've got two of the same boards. Do, do, do. You are getting a selection of different designs. You're not getting uh, three of the same, don't you worry. I'm just going to find out for you uh, what die designs you're getting as part of the collection. Definitely getting the talons, but you're getting two other ones as well. You're getting your Dijon and your Chambord. So you've seen your talons twice. You will get your Chambord as well, but here is your Dijon. Same idea with all of them though. You've got that lovely swirling uh, edible, but of course, it doesn't just have to be an edible. Cut for it, can be a frame, uh, snip into it, it could be an embellishment. Snip into it further, it could even be a corner as well. But in addition to that gorgeous detail, you do get almost like that matte and layer edge die as well. So something a little bit different when it comes to these amazing Baroque border dies. Don't forget, you will get three different uh, die sets, giving your six dies in total for a platinum club price today of £12 or $16. And I know that Michelle has got a lovely demo lined up that she wants to share with you, showing you how you can get creative with these fabulous dyes. I do. Um, I'm going to use the talons. talons. You are. Am I saying it correctly? I haven't got a clue. Talons. <laughs> saying it, oh, I'm saying it, but whether that's right or not, who knows? Talents. I'm going to use talons. the talents. It just doesn't have the same sort of effect in, in a, a broad Yorkshire accent, does I it? I mean, not quite, but it'll do. It's what we've it'll got. It'll do. Oh Honest to God. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, do you know, we really need to speak to the powers that be so we can hear those in the gallery through. Or you guys can hear them as well. Oh, no, because... it wouldn't be a good idea. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear. I don't know. I think it'd be hilarious. Yeah. It's I mean, some... would, I'm not sure you guys at home would like to hear their singing. I'll be perfectly honest. It, it, uh, it's nearly as bad as ours, but uh, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> 
Right, so that is um, that is the decorative piece, and I always take the wrong one off. This is the piece that you were going to use um, to create the edge, and then you're going to use this piece to die cut out um, the decorative element that goes on top of it. So I've got a box lid here, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to pop this in the middle. So I'm, I've scarred around the edges. I'm going to pop this in the middle. Okay. And I'm going to line the the edges up with the, the scar line. Uh -huh. I'm just going to make sure that it's in the middle. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring it down to the bottom. Because okay. then when I've got my die cut element, um, it's going to fit on there. So let's tape that down. And again, I'm going to try and tape to as much waste mm -hmm. as I can. But again, you can see, I don't know if you noticed, I'm still using those same pieces of low tack tape, mm -hmm. even though I'd, um, sort of, I'd sort of tapped them on here to take some of the sticky away. Even though I've done that, I'm still using them because um, they're still really, really sticky. Mm -hmm. So let's pop this off and move that very slowly. So even though I've used them, what, half a dozen times, mm -hmm. you still need to be very careful, as you can see there, when you're pulling it up, because it's still got plenty of stick on there. So let's bring that one, lift it very carefully. Peel that back and then take that away. Perfect. And then, I, so I've got some sticky left there, so what I tend to do is, um, I bring in my eraser, mm -hmm. and that will get rid of it. Or if you don't have dirty fingers, you mm -hmm. can just rub it away with your finger. But you can see that I've got dirty little mitts, unfortunately. I'm not going funny with crafters. We're in the middle of crafting. We do have mucky fingers. <laughs> yeah, your fingers, glue on them, gilding flakes, whatever it might be, let's be honest. Yeah, absolutely. So what, what you're going to do then is you're going to do that on all four sides. Mm -hmm. And as normal, um, so this is going to be my little snippy away bit. Mm -hmm. So if I take that away, so you can see that that's going to be my tab. So we're going to fold that there. But what I need to do is obviously join this up. So I'm mm -hmm. going to my scissors. Um, it's going to create a smaller tab. So if I just snip this one away so you can see. Let's fold my scar line very carefully. And what it's going to do is obviously, let me do that one as well. Mm -hmm. Bear with me. So when my, uh, so that's going to be the side. So you can see what I need to do is I need to bring um, the cut line across. It doesn't really matter how small my tab is as mm -hmm. long as I still got a tab there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that just straight across. Mm -hmm. Let's trim it straight across at this side as well. Don't necessarily have to trim it straight across. You can um, create a little decorative edge piece or make your little box smaller. But you can see there how it's going to work. Mm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in one that I have already um, done, all mm -hmm. four sides. And as you can see, I've start, so I've done it on all four sides and I've started cut it, uh, gluing these on. So this is this piece that comes in. Um, and what I love about this is you've got these two separate elements that absolutely work beautifully separately or absolutely amazingly together. So I've glued two on. I'm just mm -hmm. going to glue another two on. So using my dotty tape pen for these, being very careful because mm -hmm. they are quite, quite delicate. I like to think a lot like me. Very mm. delicate. That's something I've never been called, I must admit. I've been called an elephant. I, I, my mum used oh. to say, you're up in your bedroom like an elephant. Oh, the, the amount of times I've been called a bull in a china shop, you wouldn't believe. Yes. <laughs> that was one of my yeah. mum's words. Like a bull in a china shop, you. One of my mum's other favourite things she used to call me. Yeah. It's funny because now mum's passed. Mm. I think it's been about, I think it'll be five years this year. Mm. 
Um, when I'm in certain situations or places or things where I know she'd be saying something mm. to me, um, I sort of say it to myself now and have a good chuckle. Yeah. Is that just me? You know, because your mum's not here anymore to say something mm. she always said to you. Yeah. So you sort of repeat it to yourself and you have a bit of a chuckle yeah. and you look crazy again because you are talking to yourself. Yeah. But yeah. as your mum. Yeah. So you're not even talking to yourself or talking to yourself yeah. in the third person. You're repeating something that your mum would be saying to you and you look even crazier. I have to say, I do find the older you get, you become your parents, don't you? So all these sayings that my mum used to say when I was growing up, you used to roll your eyes when she used to say them. Um, uh, you know, t turn those lights off. Why is that door open? We, you know, were you raised in a barn? All of those <laughs> mummisms. Yeah. Were you, you start coming in a barn? out. The older you get, you start you start saying them, and then you catch yourself. You think, oh my goodness, when my mum used to say this when I was younger, it used to drive me mad, and now I'm saying them myself. Uh, it's definitely a sign of getting older, isn't it, for sure? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm glad it's not just me. No, it's, don't worry, it's definitely not just you. So just, you can see that where these have been trimmed down, I'm just gonna bring in these. They're gonna fit, uh, it fits together lovely. You just need to trim it up. Um, and like you saw me with this one, what I do, and I always do it, I pop it there, I see mm -hmm. if I'm happy with it. If I'm not, I can trim it up before I've committed to gluing it together. Mm -hmm. So it's something I always do. So let's pop that one on there and then the last one. And then that can be going off. Oh, this wow. is hilarious coming in from, uh, I'm hoping to pronounce your name right. Cleany, Cleany, I'm not quite sure. Do let us know if I'm pronouncing that right or wrong. But she is saying, my mum used to say, I had a belt on every tooth and ring them all at once. What a fabulous saying. I've never heard that one before. I've never heard that. I love that. Yeah, I think I'll be nicking that and using that myself for sure. That's a brilliant <laughs> phrase, that. Fabulous. I do like that. Yeah, I do. Oh, that, that gorgeous frame. That's pretty, isn't it? I love that. Ooh. That's from the... Um, Vintage butterfly. Yeah, we had yeah. that on this morning, didn't we? Actually, yes. that was part of that amazing bundle. Yeah, if you went for that <laughs> one with that incredible saving, you'll be getting that incredible uh, set of dice home and you can get, get crafting with those like Michelle is here. Love that. And again, yeah, the sentiment they... stamp is from the same collection, isn't it? Yes. Wow. Um, so foam pad is absolutely going to go onto the back of this. Of course. Um, I'm going to pop some glue on it because I'm going onto that glitter. Mm -hmm. I just want that added security that that foam pad isn't going to dry. Um, if you're like me and you do give or you give these cards to people, my mum, when she passed, we found cards um, that she'd started away from when we were babies. Oh. So she always, always kept absolutely everything. Mm. So, you know, people want to keep them, especially a card that is this beautiful that you have made. People mm. are going to keep them and they're going to want to keep them. They don't want to pull them out 10 years later and have the foam pad dried up and mm. one of those beautiful elements fallen off. So let's pop. We're just going to pop this on the corner. Oh, nice. I'm just going to judge where I want that. I'm going to try and get sort of in the middle mm -hmm. and then let's trim those edges off okay. so again you don't need to use the whole thing it's nice to just um, edge that up almost like mm -hmm. um, a corner die yeah that's lovely and let's try again with this one just to get it sort of in the middle Mm -hmm. I'm using these two identical pieces here because obviously it's uniform so I'm just using those to make sure that I'm getting that quite where I want it and again let's trim those edgy bits off and then if I bring in my box that should be dry now I can remove those I can never remember what they're called Paperclips. That's it. Paper something clips. so simple. Yeah, it's I just, always want yeah. to say pencil something. I can never get to paper Paperclips, <laughs> yeah. Isn't it funny? We just sometimes have mental blocks for certain words. There's no yeah. rhyme or reason. But yeah, paperclips. I, I think I have a mental block for all the English language sometimes. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I think we all do on, on certain occasions, let's be honest. 
So there we go, popping that on oh, there. Oh, that's pretty. And by the fact that um, I've got those sort of cornered right to the edge of that colour, it almost looks like it's been tucked underneath mm. and this white is connected to the actual white of the box lid. So let's give that a good press down. Really should have put it on before I put my box together, but um, Jan's not watching, no. so she can't tell me yeah. off. <laughs> so if I pop that on here, it's going to sit on there lovely. Or if she's watching, I'm sorry, Jan. We're sorry, Jan. Please, <laughs> please don't tell us off. <laughs> um, tweezers. So I've just got a couple of gems. Uh -huh. I'm going to pop these on. Oh, those are nice. I like those. They are absolutely mm. gorgeous. Pop those two there. Don't forget as well, the cardstock that Michelle used, that rose gold, is part of that amazing uh, collection, that um, mystery bag, the card and paper mystery bag that uh, is part of the bank holiday deals. That is included. That 12 by 12 regal rose gold is part of that amazing mystery bag. So do check out the website for that one if you've not seen it already. So if I turn that round now, you can see not only the sides of the box, um, lovely and decorative, mm. it is on the top as well. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Just shows a couple of uses with those amazing Baroque border dies. Aren't they just absolutely exquisite? Beautiful collection of dies. Uh, so you've got uh, all three die sets in total, uh, 16 dies in total for a Platinum Club price of £12 or $16. Just an amazing selection uh, of uh, dies, which we are absolutely loving. Now, you guys at home have been sending in all of your makes, which we have been loving. We love seeing all of your inspiration. We love to see what you've been crafting. Maybe you are here in the UK and having a little bit of a crafty uh, weekend in honour of the bank holiday. Perhaps you've got a little bit of time off work, but we have got some amazing makes that we're going to be sharing, not just with ourselves here in the studio, but with all of our lovely viewers at home. So what have we got coming up? We've got an absolute stunner of a card coming courtesy of Kirsty Davies. Kirsty, that is absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful 3D rose that. Isn't that gorgeous? Love the colours you've used on there as well. I wonder if that's the daisy paper pad, the nature's garden in the background. That looks like it. That's absolutely gorgeous. Next up, wow, another one from Kirsty. <gasps> Look at that, using your Saraceni Jabo Bohemian collection. How stunning is that? Beautiful colouring on that one as well, Kirsty. Thank you for sharing that one. That is absolutely beautiful. Then we've got another one from Kirsty. Oh, it's a shaker. Absolutely love that. I think the die is from Sarah Signature's birthday box. Beautiful, of course, I love the pink tones. That is right up my street. Lovely card there, Kirsty. Thank you for sharing with us all. Then next up, oh, how cute is this one? This is from Renee. That little penguin, part of that collection we were sharing with you this afternoon on the craft along. How cute is he? Looks like he's got a little bit of a 3D beak, which is just absolutely adorable. And another Christmas design coming courtesy of Renee. This is gorgeous. Look at that, using our festive frame and sentiment dies. Really like the colorways you've used on that one. Lovely soft blue and gold there, just absolutely stunning. And then another one as part of that collection from Renee. Oh, gorgeous once again. Look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. Love the colour tones once again. Great work there, Renee. Love those cards that you've shared with us. Then next up, oh, Susan, you've been busy. Look at those. <gasps> a box, a card as well. I love the fact that you've used, I think that's the Mediterranean Dreams collection tile that you've used there. But on a festive make, absolutely love that. That is gorgeous. Then a couple more from Susan. Oh wow, penguins, <gasps> love those, how cute are those, absolutely gorgeous. Susan's actually messaging as well to say that they, she was inspired uh, by Corinne to create that gorgeous box with the penguins, but they are just absolutely adorable. Wow, some incredible creations from you guys at home. Thank you so much for sharing, just absolutely brilliant. And talking of brilliant makes, it's time to actually get that voting for demo of the show. What's it gonna be? We've got, uh, we've got three gorgeous makes to choose from. What have we got to vote for? Um, lot, well, three. So number one is those lovely, I like it's like a flip-flop card. So that's number one. Number two is mm. those beautiful frames. And then number three is using those Baroque 
dies. Mm. Oh, it's going to be a tough vote. The guys in the gallery are not sure either. But we'll get the vote in for demo of the show and then that'll be going into the vote for demo of the day. Is it going to be that gorgeous gingerbread house perhaps? Is it going to be the uh, vote from this morning's uh, Player Crafts Right? Or is it going to be the demo from tonight's Masterclass? Well, it's down to you guys at home. Now, we have got an outstanding deal on our foil press machine. So if you've not got your foil press machine yet, you have got an amazing £24.99 or $119.99 saving on this machine. Uh, I don't think that saving's quite right, but your platinum price is coming all the way down to £60 or $100.44. You've got the foil press machine itself with a 7 inch by 5 inch foiling platform. We know how much Craig loves this machine. He swears by it for getting the most exquisite metallic foil finishes. Using in conjunction with any of your thin metal dies, you can turn them into foil stamp dies as well to get the most incredible, the most luxurious finishes. Think of all the dies you already own. Think of those, turning those designs into foiled images. Isn't that going to be absolutely amazing? And for a platinum price today of £60 or $100.44, you can get started on that foiling journey, which is so, so exciting. Maybe you're thinking about doing wedding invites. This is going to be absolutely perfect. But for any make that you really want to elevate with a metallic foiled finish, then this is going to be absolutely ideal. And I know Michelle is going to share with you a few hints and tips as to how you can get started with your foil press machine. I've just heard the audible beep, so it sounds like we are good to go with Michelle. So Michelle, we're gonna have a little play with our foil press. I'm gonna have a little play with the foil press. I'm literally just going to show you how it works. I'm gonna, it's a nice, very basic one, because we've had so, so many of you guys um, buying these um, mm. lately. We've had um, a resurge of uh, interest. Mm. Um, so, I've got my foil press here. Mm -hmm. um, it's not turned on yet, so you've got my little switch here that I've just turned on, which you heard, which was the beep. Yep. Then you have got another on button here. Uh, <laughs> two, need to, I'm ready. If only if it said that instead, it'd be much, much more fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> it absolutely would. Uh, what you're getting with your file press is obviously you're getting your file press. You've got this. Um, plate this is what's going to heat up mm -hmm. you get all the accessories so these are your um, bits that you're going to get mm -hmm. so when you're lifting your die off um, you're going to be popping it onto here mm -hmm. um, it's magnetic so your die is going to lift with that these again um, you know protective for your fingers it doesn't get that hot that it's going to burn you but it gets hot enough um, so you know we're going to give you all these bits that allow you to be very careful mm -hmm. with um, the product. You've got your, your metal shim, you've got this top plate, it, it goes through it all in here for you. Yes, mine's old and very worn and very loved. Mm. Um, so straight away when you open this, it tells you um, sort of temperatures and times, but we'll come back to that in a minute because what it does here, so we'll follow this. Hot foiling with a foil stamp die. So this is what I've got. This is my foil press um, die. You mm -hmm. can see it's a lovely decorative one. Um, yes, so you're going to be able to get this on the web. So you're going to again, so if I flick back to this, it will ask you for a small die, a medium die, and a large die. Uh, the rule of thumb is if it's a third of the plate, it's your small. If it's two thirds, it's a medium. If it sort of roughly fits the whole thing, you're gonna go as a large die. Well, you can see mine's sort of two thirds. Mm -hmm. So that is gonna be um, a medium die. So it's telling me, so make sure the foil press is preheated, set the timer base um, on the selected material using the matrix. So we're gonna go back to the matrix. I've got a medium die, so I'm gonna go here. I'm going to use some white cardstock, and mm -hmm. it's a three, sorry, <laughs> it's Nicola, um, 300 GSA. I mentioned the matrix, and she was like, oh, not the dear. Ma <laughs> uh, 300, <laughs> three, I know, just what would top today off is the Keanu Reeves, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. Let me cut a piece of card down for now. So again, I've got my card, I've got my die going to go to the matrix medium die 300 gsm cardstock but if you go down you can see it does a 350 it does per lesson you've got vellum you've got mirror card acetate mm -hmm. leather fabric satin and again so you've got file stamp and cuts and then you've got multi-surface 
um, foil rolls. So you've got your normal foil ro rolls for your card making. You've got a multi-surface foil roll. Oh, that's, um, that's a tongue twister if ever I said mm. one. So let's get back to what we're doing. I've got a medium die. It's the 300 GSM. So it's telling me I need it on a low temperature for 15 seconds. So let's turn it on. So we're going to go, so it's here, low, medium and high. I need my low, I need 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go up to my 15. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna see what it tells me to do. So I've preheated it, placed the foil stamp die facing upwards on your plate. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the purple non-slip surface, using the tweet. I can feel the heat now. Now, I wouldn't want to touch it because it's hot. Mm -hmm. um, hence that you've got these. So you've got mm -hmm. these, look. That's Perfect. just so open them and it drops back down. You're going to spend the first five minutes just playing with those tweezers, to okay. be honest with you. More than five minutes, I would have thought. Well, yes, hour. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've placed that on there. We've used the tweezers to reposition if need be. We're going to cover with the top plate mm -hmm. and press start on the base. So you can see that that fits there, lovely. So we're going to press start and that's going to count down our 15 seconds. Brilliant. So we're going to trim some foil to size. I've got this lovely blue. So we're going to trim, trim it down. So it's going to cover that whole die. Mm -hmm. So my... I'm ready. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I've waited two years to be able to do that with a file press. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> and it's uh, full advantage now. <laughs> right, so um, when the indicator light is turned green and a beep is sounded, remove the foiling platform and place the file. With colour side down, so my colour side is going to go down. So facing that actual die, and on top of the foil, yeah, on top of the foil stamp, place select, select, selected, selected material. So this is my card that I've cut down. We're going to yeah. pop over the top. Um, I'm doing this as if you would when you're at mm -hmm. home. I'm going to go through it. Um, place your selected material face down and carefully place the top place on. Yeah. So we're going to pop that on. Mm -hmm. And then use the silicone finger grips, grasp. Mm -hmm. So you can use your silicone finger grips to grasp that if you need. Mm -hmm. But then it says to run that through my machine. So we're going to run that through our machine. Mm -hmm. um, and we should have a beautiful image come out. Fabulous. Easy as that. So I'm, gonna, I'm grabbing that. So I've grabbed it here. Uh -huh. because it is hot under here okay so i'm going to pop it. that back down we're going to take that off and again that's a little bit warm now mm -hmm. and my card is a big reveal <gasps> oh my goodness me look so at i cut that. that just a little bit too short but it doesn't matter you mm -hmm. can see <gasps> look at that foil. oh gorgeous how beautiful is it? It really is effective. And it is that, obviously, it took me a little bit longer because mm -hmm. I was reading through it all um, as if, you know, we were doing mm. it for the... Well, we, well, on this show, we were doing it for the first time. Yeah. Um, so easy. So absolutely yeah. easy to do it. All you've got, you've got your matrix right on that front page. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. It tells you what material, if it's small, medium or large, and it gives you the temperature there. And then really, it's if you're hot foiling with foil stamp dies or with thin metal dies, um, with stamp and cut dies, which you can get. So it's all there. It's on these first two pages. The rest is sort of safety warnings and things like that, and then in the other languages. So really, you've got those two pages showing you everything. It even shows you a little diagram here, so you can, you know, look from that to that. Um, it is so easy. I was very scared of my foil press when I first got it. It took me so long to get it out of my box. But when you see how easy that 15 seconds to heat it up, run that through, how easy was that? So easy, wasn't it? Literally, when you get this home, you'll be foiling it straight out of the box. That is how easy it is to work with your incredible foil press machine. And we do have that great deal on the foil press 
over on the website this weekend. That's the 7x5 inch foiling platform alongside your foil press machine. And your Platinum Club price on that is today is £60 or $100.44. An absolutely great way to sort of get into the world of foiling and all of the amazing effects that you can be creating, literally like we've just seen there, straight out of the box. Now we do have a winner in for demo of the show, so we'll be going on to demo of the day in just a moment. But demo of the show is going to number three. So that lovely Ooh. box created using those fabulous Brock borders is our demo of the show. And it's winging its way over right here, right now, because we're going to get started on that demo of the day. Just over five minutes left. Thank you ever so much, Michelle. That magical arm just came in <laughs> and bringing in our gorgeous uh, creation that we've got here. So what's going to be winning demo of the day? So first up, very start of the day on our Play Your Crafts Right show, we had a play with those absolutely gorgeous Christmas shaped card based dies. That's our beautiful little penguin there. We've got our shaker element onto there as well. That is demo number one if you want to go for that one. Next up, the craft along. Oh my goodness, isn't this just absolutely exquisite? That's your gingerbread house, demo number two, courtesy of that incredible craft along. And don't forget as well, it does have that box inside. So if you want to be storing your candies, your sweeties, your any sort of presents inside there, it's going to be absolutely perfect for doing that. And then finally, the one that you guys have just voted as demo of the show is that beautiful box using those incredible Brock border dies. Isn't that just absolutely exquisite? Not just the decoration on the top, but decorating every single side of that beautiful box using those Brock border dies. That's demo number three. So it's going to be three. Is it going to be two, that gorgeous gingerbread house? Or is it going to be demo number one with that adorable little penguin? It's completely down to you guys. You've got just a couple of minutes to get those votes in for that incredible demo of the day. Completely up to you what you're going for. But I will be interested to see what you guys are going to vote for demo of the day. Now it is a weekend, bank holiday weekend, no less. And that means, of course, we have to bring to you an outstanding value Buddy uh, Weekend Wonder Collection. And this weekend, it's all about our buddy bags. This is coming to you courtesy of Totally Tiffany. You have got all of those incredible buddy bags included as part of the deal. Six different buddy bags in total that you're getting. And I love the fact that every single one is different. They're all different shapes and sizes. That allows you to store lots of different items in uh, these buddy bags. You can see here, we have got our pens stored in some of them, glitters in the one at the front, even our adhesives, some of our uh, Nouveau drops in the one at the top, all of our glues and tape as well you literally have a buddy bag for every single different use as part of this collection they all are they're all clear they're all see-through so you can see exactly what is included in every single one of those buddy bags which means it's a lot easier to actually know what you've got in your crafty stash when it's see-through you know exactly what you've got in there and quite frankly you're more likely to use them if you can see what you've got as well that lovely material is wiped clean so if you do have any spillages within the items in those bags you know that you can wipe those bags clean very very easily and as well they've all got their carry handles so if you're taking those out to your craft classes your craft crops then it's going to be absolutely ideal to actually have those on the go with that very easy carry handle on every single one of those platinum club price for the whole collection all six buddy bags in total comes down all the way down today to 21 pounds 60 or 31 dollars 20 and of course with it being a weekend wonder deal that means you're getting double points as well which is amazing but with weekend wonder deals we know that they uh, stay for the duration of the weekend but first thing monday morning 10 59 a.m that will be removed from the website that deal will be no more so if you're wanting to go for that one then make sure you snap that one up while you can because it is absolutely outstanding value and great for stocking up on all of your storage solutions courtesy of Totally Tiffany. Now, landslide victory, we do have a vote in for demo of the day. I have to say, I'm not surprised at all. It definitely would be my pick. It's an outstanding make. It was an outstanding craft along for Michelle. It's that absolutely beautiful gingerbread house forms as a box as well so you can fill it full of all your Christmas goodies and treats just absolutely beautiful an amazing demo Michelle but to be honest every single demo today as always has been Aww. absolutely outstanding I've had a great day I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have I have I've had a lovely day we've had a, a good old chuckle a good we old chuckle have. I sound like a my mum yeah. good old chuckle a great good old chuckle we have had <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's been absolutely amazing. And of course, thank you to Michelle. Thank you to Nicola and George and Tracy. Of course, it's been an absolutely brilliant day. 
we've got to thank you guys at home as well for your company, for all of your comments, for all of you guys that crafted along as well. Of course, we had the fabulous Lynn join us on this afternoon's Craft Along. It's just been all around a brilliant day, as always, here at Crafters TV. Back here tomorrow, it will be lovely Michelle once again, but our Becky Swan is back in the building presenting, so it's going to be an absolutely super fun day. We've got that amazing first look coming up, first up, brand new Crafters Inspiration magazine and a brand new collection as well. Oh, holy night. It is absolutely exquisite. That's coming up. Uh, you will have Second Chance Sunday as well at the end of the day and a masterclass in the middle. So it's going to be an action-packed day from Becky and Michelle. I know I'll be tuning in from home. That is for sure. But a big thank you to everybody who's joined us today on the three shows. It's been an absolute cracker. I'll see you, I believe, I think it's first thing Wednesday. I'm presenting alongside Sheena, who's also got an amazing brand new launch. So definitely one you'll be wanting to tune in for. But until then, take care, happy crafting, and I'll be seeing you again very soon. Bye-bye.